What's going on guys, this is Games Gaming. Today we are going over a new event in War and Order called the Lucky Arrival and Lucky Wheel event. This event comes around every once in a while where you are actually earning these different tickets through completing daily quests. These quests include rallying the ancient ruins, destroying rebels, helping your alliance members, and also using speed ups among other things that you're gonna be doing basically every single day anyway. So this is an event you want to make sure that you are doing your daily tasks because getting these tickets are very, very important. And when it comes to the actual lucky wheel, this is what the wheel looks like. You get to choose an item in the very, very middle that you can win through spinning this wheel. Every single spin you do will increase the amount of tickets it costs. So if you look at the bottom, I have one out of two. I've already done one spin and now I have to do another spin, but it costs twice as many tickets. So we are gonna go ahead and purchase some packs here. So we have six different levels of packs where we can get these different tickets in order to get further into the event. But first we wanna take a look at what we can do free to play. You can see right here, we have buying from the merchant, spending speed ups and rallying different objectives. These are things, like I said, you're gonna be doing them every single day anyway. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna collect our, uh, our troops. We're gonna go ahead and speed up some of our mages. So that will give us amount of speed ups in order to complete that first quest. So here we can collect two more of these tickets for spending 960 and 480 minutes. So now we get two more of those tickets that we can use in this event. Now if we go right back over to the lucky wheel, you can see we have three out of two. So now we are able to spin the wheel and potentially earn our prize. So we can see right here what we get, we get one hour of speed ups. So now it's gonna cost us three tickets in order to do the next spin. So for every single one, like I said, it will get more and more expensive. So we do have this pack here that we can purchase up to level six. This first one will give us 75 of these tickets for $3, 125 tickets, so that gives us 200, and then additional 250 for 450 tickets. So now we have 451 tickets that we can use and do as best as we can. So we can do auto spin, we can skip the animation, or we can go ahead and do a full one-on-one -on -one spin. We're gonna do the skip animation first, so we can see what we get here. We get quite a bit of our resource, which is pretty nice. We get a million food and wood, as well as some stone and iron ore. And you can see in the very top, we also did get our uh, legendary tier fragment. And this did cost us 69 tickets, which is a pretty good odd. Typically, it will cost you a lot more than 69 tickets. And so we actually get some teleport fragments as well, which is pretty awesome. Then we can go ahead and select our orange fragment once again. You can see we have 19 times remaining in this event. So you do have a limit on how many you're able to get throughout this event, but we are gonna go ahead and select the orange fragment once again, and that will give us 18 after we finish this one. So like I said, you can auto spin or you can turn it off just like this. And so now we can go ahead and see what we get. And this will take a little bit longer, but you can see we got one food crate. You can do another spin. You can see now it is two tickets. So each time it does reset back to the original, that is 1 million food crates. And as you can see here, every single time you win something, it is actually taking it off of the board. So it is basically increasing your odds of getting the one piece that you are looking for. In this case, it's gonna be that orange fragment. So for every single time we do not get the orange fragment, you're actually increasing our odds of getting the orange fragment because you know we're having less options on the board in general. And if you look at the very, very top, we actually have these rewards here that I've just collected. So we get 500 gems, we get a pavilion, two more tickets, an eight hour peace shield, and three level four resource chests. So for every single time you use a ticket, you are gonna get one ticket further on that target cost. Now we have 87 out of 200. So every time we spend a ticket, it is actually gonna go to the very, very top. So you can see now we have 93 out of 200. So as we progress through this event, we are going to give ourselves more and more tickets to use. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to turn on auto spin and it will go ahead and finish this off for us. And as you can see, once again, it is taking things off the table, basically making it much, much more likely that you are going to get the piece that you're looking for. But as you can see in this one, it is taking quite a bit longer than the first one. And the reason why is simply luck you know luck has a lot to do here and you know as you continue going your luck does increase but that doesn't mean you're going to have great luck 
So this one costs us 85 total tickets. Not horrible, but definitely could be a lot better. Uh, 20 worse than the first time that we did it. And we can see the milestone rewards for finishing off the ticket cost. As you progress through this event, obviously through spending, through free to play events, you can get up to 5,000 tickets. This will give you a lot of different rewards, including tons of speed ups, resources, teleports, uh, increase in your march speed, lots of different items, including more tickets. So you can get up to 18 more of these tickets while you are progressing through here, as well as some fire demon crown fragments. We get four of those as well. And so there is actually quite a bit of good rewards here throughout this event. So if you are a big spender and you want to finish this event, the rewards are definitely good enough to do so. So now we can go ahead and choose our orange fragment once again. And this time we will do auto spin and we will keep the skip animation on it as well. You can see this one actually costs us 88 total tickets. Uh, we got some gems. We got a lot of speed ups as well. Basically one of everything as well as a two hour healing speed up. Uh, we got 50 uh, beast XP as well, which is really, really nice. I always like to get more XP for my beast uh, as well as, you know, resources. I'm always running low on resources, so I will always take that. And now we actually have 266 out of 200. We get an additional three lucky tickets, an advanced hunting expedition, which is really, really nice. That will increase our march speed by 200% for an hour when we are attacking barbarians. And then also we have beast XP scrolls. We get some more of those as well for our beast, as well as some resource chests, level four. We get five of those ones. So now we can go ahead and we can choose our orange fragment once again. We've already gotten three. So now we can get our fourth one. And now you can see it costs a lot more, 126 total tickets on this one. We still got our fragment, of course, and we got 450 XP for our beast, as well as a lot of, you know, speed ups, resources, some XP as well uh, for our beast and some for some artifacts as well. But, you know, that's very, very expensive, almost twice as expensive as the first time that we did it. Now we can go ahead and do it once again. And now you can see on the very bottom, I actually have 66 more tickets. That's not a whole lot. That's not going to be enough to finish off this event. So we're going to see how far we can get with our current tickets. And then potentially we will go ahead and buy the next version of the bundle. I believe for $20 is what that is going to run. Uh, but we'll go ahead and see how far we can get with just our current tickets and potentially get an orange fragment. If not, like I said, we'll go ahead and pick up that bundle and we almost got it. We were one off on that one. That was super close. And, you know, the rewards here are very, very solid. And they do change every time, so it's not always the same. But there are obviously some things that are always going to be there, such as the resources and the speed ups. But you can see right here we have more beast XP. We have the teleport fragment and as well as the gold keys uh, or gold coins. And so, you know, as you keep on going, the, the rewards do change, but there are a lot of consistency in the rewards. So March Speed is really, really nice. And this is our last one here. Hopefully we can get the fragments and we do not. We do get the gold coins, which is pretty awesome. But now we have 450 out of 500. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to pick up this last bundle here. Uh, there are two other bundles afterwards, which I might pick up uh, tomorrow at the end of this event, depending on how far I get free to play. We'll go ahead and pick this up. So now we have 509 out of 14, and this one costs us 48. So, you know, in, in general, that one costs us about 100 uh, tickets in order to finish up. So we'll go ahead and do another one. This one costs us 126. Wow. Okay, so another very, very expensive one. But we do get some pretty nice rewards here as well. Pretty much everything, you know, all but two essentially. We did get 20 superior runestones, which is really, really nice. I love seeing that, as well as the teleport fragments is really awesome to see as well and we did get the extra rewards here some beast xp five more tickets four hours of recruitment speed ups as well as seven level four resource chests which is pretty awesome then we also got a pavilion structure as well so we'll have to equip that at some point as well so we can go ahead and choose our orange fragment we have 340 tickets remaining here this one costs us 148 holy crap that is extremely expensive that's almost three times more expensive than the first time we did it. And, you know, still, the rewards are great, but this just got really expensive. You could have done two different rounds with this. So, you know, sometimes the luck definitely does not go in your favor, but, you know, sometimes you might make up for that and get really lucky sometimes, but obviously you might have some off rounds just like this. We have 192 remaining. 
So we'll see what we can get here. This one costs us 126. I was hoping to get a little bit less on this one to potentially get two more, um, but it looks like we might fall a little bit short. We did, get, we did get some TP fragments as well, and also some beast XP, which is great. Uh, and artifact XP, I love seeing the 2000 artifact XP, as well as the extra 500 on top, 100 more gems, and a lot of resources. So we have 66 tickets remaining. So we probably won't be able to finish up the event, but we might be able to get a little bit further. We'll have to take a look here and we'll see. So we spent 58 tickets and we did get some good resources, but you know, not enough to get our fragment, which is a little unfortunate, but we might be able to get that tomorrow, uh, you know, after reset, uh, once we're able to do the daily challenges once again. But if you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor, drop a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the lucky arrival event and make sure you guys are doing these daily quests because the rewards are very, very great. So make sure you're doing the lucky wheel event because like I said, you don't want to miss out on these rewards. So thanks for checking out the video. Have a great rest of your day.